Hello and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry and I am an independent consultant with Close to My Heart. And today I want to show you the newest how-to book that Close to My Heart is coming out with in January. It is featured in the Seasonal Expressions catalog, January through April 2018. I'm not sure because it's in this catalog. I have to find out, but I believe it is going to go forward. Normally everything in this catalog um, will retire at the end of April, but I think this is one of the items that will be carrying on. It's got a little arrow, so I think it is one of the ones that carries on. So what makes this book so special? First off, it is a card maker's dream. It is, this is the card maker's pattern book. It is made to go into an everyday life album. You have your choice of blush or the black and white stripes. But I found something. If you already have an Everyday Life album, or maybe you bought one for Volume 3, because this is Volume 3, I was able to get Volume 4 into it. So let me clear the decks real fast. The actual Make It From Your Heart Volume 4 is $12.95. The item number is 9044. So let's clear the decks. Now for myself, I have my little gnome that's going to separate volume 3 from volume 4. <coughs> you have to pardon me, I'm having trouble with my voice this morning. Now the first thing I like about this is if you have a general idea of what you want your card pattern to be, the very first part of this book is all the patterns. So you can just do a quick overview of, okay, what do I want, what's in my brain, what does this book offer? So it offers just really quick overviews and it gives you the page numbers of where to find that. The other thing I really really like about this is it not only gives you the pattern along with the cutting guide but it gives you artwork that you can fashion it after. So a couple of different ways you can make it look and it gives you tips. Every single one gives you tips. Gives you different ways of using the papers, gives it diff uh, different ways of using your stamping. So let's just do a really quick walkthrough. It is the same type of paper as in volume three, the very thick, heavy paper, which I absolutely adore. This was the very first item I ordered from the catalog. We were at the launch event. And we all saw it at the same, this is Penny Pals. So I'll be doing a, a video later with Penny Pals. Um, we were all at the launch event and we all saw it at the same time. And there was a collective, ah, all in the room. It was so funny because all of us at the same time was like, yes, another one. Because we love these books. Now what I do is if there's a design that I'm working on, especially if I'm on the go, what I will do is I'll take this over to my copier and I'll make a copy of these two pages and stick it with the supplies that I'm using to make those cards. And I can make all of my notes on those two pages and then my book stays clean. And I'm not having to tote my book around. See, like this, when you first look at this, it's you're like, okay, it's, yeah, that's going to be well. But look at the examples they give you. Two very different examples, but they look fantastic. And I don't know about you, but I have a hard time thinking up card ideas. So these books are fantastic for me. And the other thing is just because the paper in the book retires, it doesn't mean the design retires. You can use the design with any papers you have in your stash. This is the Give Me Some Sugar Paper. Didn't that look fantastic? The 
that every single you know, every single card has artwork tips, design tips. This is just a beautiful book. Like I said, I've got mine. Uh oh, there we go. I've got mine in with my volume three. I might separate them because it is a little bit tight. Um, but for right now, it, I didn't order it because I wanted to see if it would fit. And I wanted to show you that it does. But it is, once you get closer to the ends, it does get tight. So you may want to go ahead and order a second Everyday Life album. I wanted to feature this and show it to you so you had a better idea of what the book offered before you purchased it. So again, thank you for joining me. I hope you um, are at least intrigued with the new card book. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will get back to you. And as always, you can find me at myscraproom.net. See you later. Bye-bye.